Welcome back to another Risk of Rain Returns Providence Trial Gold Medal Guide. We still have a lot of challenges to cover, and I don't want to be releasing these months down the road, so I'm going to do my best to speed these along and get them out ASAP. As we continue onward, we come to another Artificer Trial. This one called Lightning Strikes Twice. Completion of this trial by taking out seven or more enemies awards you with Artificer's alternate secondary skill, Pulse Spear, while taking out 22 or more earns you the gold medal. This trial isn't too difficult, at least relative to some of the others, and I actually found it to be a rather fun little minigame that gets created here. The basic idea is to fire a single Pulse Spear and continuously trigger the effect to take out as many enemies as possible as you follow the spear through the stage. This one is going to challenge your multitasking ability, as you need to watch the spear to see when to activate the pulse, but you also have to traverse the course without getting stuck or missing an enemy. To begin with, when firing the spear, you want to make sure that you jump and release it as high as possible. This will allow the spear to travel over the golem's heads, giving you way more time to react. It makes it so that when you trigger the pulse, the area of effect underneath it is what hits the enemies. When the spear is fired at a lower height, it requires activating the pulse right before colliding with the side of the enemy, which is effectively a much smaller window of time to react. Be sure to fire high and do your best to immediately take off right after releasing it. You can't afford to lose any time after firing, so make sure you are near the rope when doing so. The rest of the trial is basically just practice. Learning the route and where to jump will make it easier to focus your attention on the spear and the enemies. This part can be a little annoying. I recommend going underneath the small platforms here and then making sure to step on the two blocks in order to make the jump up the pillar so you don't get hung up and lose time. The ending section here is also a little tricky as you are required to hop on very narrow platforms. I did my best to take it at a steady pace without overly rushing giving myself time to quickly glance back and forth as I needed to. Again, this probably requires a bit of practice. The last three kills actually had sort of a pattern to them, and if you look and listen closely, you will notice that I activate the pulses exactly when I land. This made it easy to basically just jump, click, jump, click, jump, click at the end. If you find yourself struggling to get through the final part, there is an alternate method that I found completely on accident, even before I ever beat it the normal way. You can call this Plan B. If you happen to miss your jump and begin to plummet, you should have ample time to continue activating your pulse as you fall and take out the last golems. This is actually how I first got the gold medal. If you still happen to be up top after you take out the final enemy, you can slow down, grab another charge, and then go back again the other way. I personally haven't spent the time to figure out the route backwards yet, but I would assume you could keep this trial going for a very long time. I will play my run through again from the top without any stops so that you can see it in its entirety. Keep at this one and I'm sure you will have the gold medal before too long. This may only be the fifth trial I've covered so far, but I plan to continue on with these as it's a great way for me to learn basic editing skills and hopefully help out some people in the process. If I do happen to help you with any of these tutorials, you can repay the favor by liking the video or subscribing, as that stuff really does go a long way for tiny channels. Thank you for your time, and happy metal hunting!